y'all, Melissa here with you today, and today I'm going to show you how to sew up this tank top, which has a racer back style. I have a free pattern linked on my website, and all the details of how to get it are there. It's in the size small and the size 5X. This is a half scale model here, so it is two scale, but not the actual size. And you can download that pattern and then meet me back at the camera and I'll show you how to sew it up. Let's talk supplies. After you have downloaded that pattern, there is a supply list linked in that post as well, but here are the things you should have cut out. You should have a front and a back, and I am sewing up the half scale version of this pattern. That's why the pieces look small. If you are including the shelf bra, you should have a front and a back of that as well, and all of these are cut on the fold. You need your neck band and your two arm bands, if you're sewing that shelf bra, you're also going to need plush back bra elastic. And then of course your normal sewing supplies, your sewing machine, pins, scissors, things like that. You do not need a special machine to sew this up, but you do need to be able to do a zigzag or other type of stretch stitch. And I have a post linked in case you need to know more about different types of stretch stitches. We're going to start by constructing the shelf bra first. So what you want to do is place your back piece and your front piece right sides together and we are going to sew down the side seams here. And you'll notice that the front piece angles out and the back piece not as much. You're just matching those up. The front piece is going to be wider than the back piece because it's accommodating the bust. Let's note that I am sewing with one quarter inch seam allowances because this is a half scale version. If you're sewing the full version, there are half inch seam allowances included. So the next thing I wanna do after I have those side seams sewn is to mark the center front and center back of the shelf bra. So I am folding this, matching the side seams, and then I'm just gonna use a washable marker on the center front and the center back so that I can see where those markings go. I'm going to do the same thing on the wrong side of my elastic. So I am folding it in half and that'll be the center front and then fold each end to match that mark and those will be matched with the side seams. The next thing we need to do is sew this elastic into a loop. So I'm going to butt these ends together and I'm going to zigzag right over the top of them. The zigzag stitch I'm using here is 4.5 millimeters wide and 2 millimeters long. Okay, I want the shelf bra right side out and I want the elastic wrong side out and then I want to match the center front with the center front and I want the little picots on the elastic pointing towards the fabric. Then I'm going to match the next mark with the side seam. The stitching line will get marked with the center back marking and the final side seam. I'm going to put this in the sewing machine and I'm going to be stretching with one hand in front of the presser foot and one hand behind so that the elastic is right on the edge and I want to zigzag right on the edge of the fabric. The zigzag stitch that I am using for this is two and a half millimeters wide and still two millimeters long. I want to actually at the side seam here not stretch the elastic. I'm going to get a few stitches in before I start trying to stretch it. And this way I can get my other hand behind the elastic and then I can stretch at center front and manipulate the fabric over so it's right on the edge. And then I kind of put a hand halfway back in between and begin stitching. And then move my hand and I want to stretch again at center front and keep everything lined up at the edge. Okay, 
once you have your elastic sewn in, you flip it this way so that the plush side is out. This is actually the side of the shelf bra that will be visible on the inside of the tank top and will be resting against your body. So you want that plush side out. And then we can set this aside for the moment and we need to start stitching the tank top. So we are going to do the same thing with the tank top as we did with the bra. We want to set it right sides together and stitch those side seams. Once the side seams are sewn, then what we're going to do is we're going to put one of these inside the other. So I prefer to turn this right side out and then put the wrong side out because you want these wrong sides together. Put the shelf bra in wrong side out. We're just going to line up all these edges here. The reason that I sewed the side seams first and then pinned everything together, pinned this shelf bra in, is because on my original tank, I used my cover stitch binder to attach the neckline and the armhole binding. And I do have a different video linked that will show you how to do that. However, I'm assuming that most people do not have a cover stitch machine with a binder attachment. So I'm going to show you how to do this on your regular sewing machine. If you did have the cover stitch in the binder, when it is constructed this way, you can then go use your binder attachment to do each of the armholes and then you can sew one shoulder seam together and do the whole neckline and finish it off. But again, that's not how we're going to do it in this video because probably most people don't have that equipment. So what we are going to do instead is we're going to turn this the other way inside out and I'm going to match the shoulder seams. So this is right sides together matching those shoulder seams. There are four layers because of the bra here and we need to stitch through all four layers on each of those to finish off the shoulder seams. Once we have those shoulder seams sewn, we can turn this back to right side out. And then let's start with one of the arm holes. I'm going to take the binding for that and I'm going to fold it into a loop and I'm going to stitch right across the short ends. Okay, once we have that band sewn, then we're going to want to mark the quarter points on it, similar to how we did on the elastic, except I'm going to mark with pins. So then I fold that pin so that it matches the seam, and then I mark the sides. We're going to do the same thing with the armhole here. So with the side seam flat, I'm going to match up the edges of the armhole here, and you'll notice Here's the shoulder seam that this is the midpoint, the quarter point. So we're going to pin through that quarter point and then match the quarter point to the side seam. And we want pins at each of these folds. Once that's done, then we can match up the seam of the band with the seam on the side here. And we can match the rest of the quarter points as well. So you're going to have three layers of fabric because you've got your bra, your shelf bra, your outer fabric, and your band. Then we're going to take this to the sewing machine and just like we did with the elastic, we'll stretch the band a little bit until it lays flat. I like to also have my seams for my shoulder open when I stitch this on. Alternately, I've got this side with the quarter points pinned. I can take the other band and you can actually fold it wrong sides together and quarter it. I like to press it if I'm going to do this, but I don't have the iron over here right now. So let me mark the quarter points on this band. Okay, if you want to do it this way, you can also do it this way, where you just take the band and you're sewing through four layers because the band is already folded. Okay, here's 
the side where I went ahead and folded the band before I stitched it on. And as you can see on the inside, there is a seam allowance here. Now, if you want, you can press that seam allowance towards the tank top and you can do a little line of top stitching right next to the band and that'll help hold everything flatter. But you do have that seam allowance inside. On the other side here, we have another step that we need to do. So let me turn this wrong side out. And what you need to do with this kind of band, once you've sewn that first pass, is you're going to wrap it around to the inside and you're gonna pin it and you wanna make sure that you have covered your stitching line from the previous step. So here's my stitching line and I am wrapping the band around. So you'll go around the whole armband pinning like that and then you want to stitch again and I like to do this from the right side. I like to stitch right next to that seam allowance. So I tend to use a lot of pins and then stitch there. The very last step after you have your bands finished however you want to put them on is to turn everything wrong side out and you want to pin a hem around the bottom and go ahead and hem it. Okay y'all, here is our finished tank top. Got front, back, arm bands all finished up. And check out this playlist for more ideas and patterns for clothing that you can sew for yourself.